And which of you, by worrying, is able to do anything of use, really? Is able to add one cubit to his lifespan? In other words, what do you really get from worry? You know, Angelia mentioned that during the prayer time. You know, she, I, I spoke to her last week and I encouraged her. I said, what happens is going to happen. Don't worry about it. Worrying doesn't change the outcome. And by the way, there are statistical studies that have shown that the vast majority of the things you worry about never happen anyway. So you exhausted yourself with all this emotional drain for no reason. I forget the statistics, but I've seen them one time. It's something like 85 to 90% of the things you worry about don't happen. Another 10% that do, like another 8% of that, even if it does happen, it turns out to not be a big deal. And it's only like 1% or 2% of the things you worry about actually end up being a big deal. And guess what? There's nothing you could have done about it anyway, most of the time. So why do we worry? Awareness of a situation should help you to make well, to take action. Okay, so you're aware of something that has concern. Concern is different than worry. Because with a concern, you may do something to mitigate the problem. Okay, I see my child playing and they're getting closer to a fence that's near an edge of something and I'm, not, I'm concerned they may be dangerous for them. So I just, without worry, I walk over and I just go and I bring them away from the, uh, the fence or the edge where they might be in trouble. As opposed to, Screaming, ah, get away from that edge, ah! Okay? They probably weren't going to fall off the edge even if you did nothing. But you are observant, you see something, you have a concern, and so you take an appropriate action calmly. But when we worry and panic, we jump to a conclusion that somehow this awful thing, in your mind, it's almost already happened. You're reacting like it's happened already. Which is very painful emotionally. And so this costs us a lot. It also can cost us in our relationships because if we react in that panic to, and, and we do it in response to a person, that could adversely affect our relationship with that person because we are overreacting. It happens a lot. So be careful when he says, look, this is reality again. We're living in reality. He says, which of you by worrying accomplished anything is what he's saying. What did worrying actually accomplish? Nothing. Now remember, I'm not saying concern is not necessary. Concern is an observance that something potentially adverse could happen. Maybe you should take an action. That's different than worrying. We worry about things generally that we can't control. We have concerns about things that we can't control. If it's a concern, we say, okay, let me do what I can, and then I have peace about the rest of it. Okay, so if you know you've done everything you can with your job, maybe you have a job situation that seems to be potentially in jeopardy. Well, that's a concern. You might lose your job. So what can you do? You can do what you can at the job to hopefully secure it the best you can, and you could be looking for another one in case you lose it. And then have peace. No worry. Because some of you right now who've counseled with me are in different jobs than when you first counseled with me, and you were all worried and panicking. What if I lose my job? And some of you are in much better jobs now than you were before. Not because of me, but because I helped you to calmly go through the process. And then Abba blessed you for going through the process calmly. No panicking. You had concern. With concern, you take all necessary actions and then you have peace. Let me say that again. Instead of worrying, when you notice something that causes concern, you take all necessary action and then have shalom, peace. That's, that's our process. Do what you can, have peace that you've done what you can, and then allow it to then process, allow it to just be what it is. Be at peace. But you also got to ask yourself, have I done everything I can do? In other words, have I gotten counsel? Have I sought appropriate help? Counsel doesn't mean necessarily calling me. It means talking to somebody maybe that you know has an expertise in that particular, maybe your boss at work, maybe a supervisor, and maybe a relational thing in the family. You might want to talk to a, a family member. Whatever it is, have I done everything I can do? And if the answer is yes, and you've done it the best you can, be at peace. Have shalom. Shalom. 